So now let's use a tool we're likely going to be using when we're designing our skateboard, the spline tool. The spline is down here and it looks like an S curve and what the spline allows you to do is make more free form curves because making an arc is great if we want a perfect circle but skateboards don't tend to be perfect circles. They tend to have more free form curves to them. So I'm going to click on the spline tool. The first thing the command prompt is asking us, or the first command prompt we see, is to specify the start fit point. This is basically asking us to place our first point for the spline. And the way the spline is going to work is we're going to be placing a series of points and it's going to form a curve to fit those points. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's my first point. I'm going to make my next point here next point here and let's say I want to close the or let's say I want to end the spline now we're gonna hit the enter button so I'm not going to place this final point so I hit enter on my keyboard and now the windows, the command window is prompting us to specify the start tangency. What this means is where is the curve going to be coming from? As you can see, as I position my cursor, it's changing that initial curve for my spline. For this, let's say we want it to come from vertically down below. I'm going to turn on ortho so I can get a perfect vertical line. And I'm just going to click the distance really doesn't matter with this. Now let's say I want to specify my end tangency as off to the right. I can then click out in this direction. And now we have just created a spline. What else is really cool about creating the spline is if we click on it, we can see all the points that we positioned and then we can move those points. So if I just click on this blue dot, and let me take off ortho, and it also really helps to take off e-snap and e-track when you're adjusting your spline. That way your, your point goes exactly where you want it to go and doesn't try to snap to some other point. So we can kind of change this curve up a bit and maybe make a shape that is more like something we're looking for. And we'll get a little bit more into this when we design a skateboard and see how it comes into that process later. But for now, just go ahead and play around with the spline tool and have fun making your own shapes and curves and seeing how it works.